the Justice Podcast with your hosts, Damber Wagner and Jacob Willis. What's the deal, y'all? Welcome to episode 44. It's your girl, Just Living Baby. And your boy, Jacob Willis. You tune into the Justice Just Podcast. Podcast. And today we have two handsome black young men on the couch with us. Please tell us your name, where you from, and what you do. Hey, yer. My name King Malik the Boxer. I'm a um, professional boxer, and um, I'm from Los Angeles, California. It's your boy, Valley Muscle. I'm from Pacoima, California. I'm a profes- uh, fitness professional, and I'm a high school football coach. Hey, okay, we Before love to have the talent here. Yeah, thank yeah. y'all for being here. You guys look yeah. nice. Thank you, thank you. You do too. Thank Both you. Both of y'all. Yeah, <laughs> put that shit on. Yeah, yeah. you see the muscles yeah. coming in. I work. Yeah, out. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say that, but fat. Uh, so. <laughs> We start off every episode with a mental health moment. Um, you guys are both in two different fields, but I feel like it doesn't matter what field you're in. Everybody has those moments where you're down, you're depressed, you don't feel like getting up, doing nothing. Um, you know, but you have to do it anyway because you guys are both uh, very determined about the the things that you guys do. You're working out, and then you box and knocking niggas out. Uh, how do you guys come up? <laughs> how do you guys <laughs> wake up in the morning and say, you know what? I gotta hit the gym today. I gotta eat my M and M's and my Snickers to get that protein. Mm-hmm. Like, how does that come about in the morning? Uh, for me. Really, like, just growing up in the ghetto type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in the jungles. I went from the jungles to the hundreds, you know? So I've been into the a So I've been in all the ghettos, you know, in L.A. <laughs> so um, it really be on some, like, you know, I want better for my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm 31 now. You feel me? So it's like, after you've seen the same shit for so long, it be like, Something got to give. This shit got to change. You know what I'm saying? You're walking outside, niggas dead at your front step. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. you get tired of that. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that's my motivation. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can, I can, you know, bounce off of that too in a way. Like, the reason, like, uh, I enjoy being a football coach is, like, I tell people all the time, I'm trying to be somebody I needed when I was growing up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to mold these young men to take a different path that, I'm trying to take as of now a 31 year old man like my boy, just trying to do something different with my life. And that the fitness game is like uh, it's transcended my mind to another whole new level in the sense where if I was doing anything else, I don't think I would be where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like owe it to fitness in a sense. Facts. Mm-hmm. I feel that. It's so interesting because you guys are both in like fitness. I mean, you have to do this. Fitness is your lifestyle, but you have to be in shape and do fitness as well because it's a part of your lifestyle as well and your field, your yeah. profession. But you over here eating M and M's and Snickers. Now I would wow. never. Well, I want to know because I would have never thought a boxer that has a, a have a fight in a week or two, they're gonna be eating M and M's and Snickers. I don't think they would be eating salads or something like that. Yeah, I eat real healthy. You know what I'm saying, but. Honestly, this is how I get through my weight cuts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like, I like, I got a sweet tooth. I love sweet shit. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta eat me like two Snickers a day or something. You know, what a I'm day. Saying? Dead ass. I, I feel it. I, I love the Snickers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my shit. And the M Ms. You know, and them little nuts up in there. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you know? Yeah. But yeah, um. <laughs> 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 but you know what I'm saying? A nigga be needing that. You know what I'm saying? That get me through my... It's like, say if I... I might I might go do hot yoga for an hour and 30 minutes, right? I'm in the hot yoga. Ugh, sweating, right? I'm drenched. Losing all this weight. Bam. I leave from there. I might take some fruit down. You know what I'm saying? Go to the gym. Go work out for like two or three hours. After that, you know, I'm hungry as fuck. But I can't eat the way I want to eat. Right. So I'm eat a salad. Something that ain't got no taste. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some, some granola. Something got, got a little sweetness to it, but it's like... No, I think it's I'm a balance. This. Yeah, I think right. I'm gonna grab this snicker. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. Okay. Yeah. Look, I ain't judging. Look, the snickers uh-huh. go right here. <laughs> yeah, all of them here. <laughs> nah, but I, I'm the same way. Shit, I I'm on a little. I was on a boat for a minute, but I'm on a little cup. But shit, every once in a while, I ain't supposed to. But I be having a little cheat. Shit, I, I drink a chocolate Oreo milkshake from the habit about two times a day. What? Jeez. Yeah, man. I, but I don't like candy because I don't, I don't like cavities and shit like that. So mm-hmm. even my boy got the pearly whites over here sitting next to me. I don't know how the nigga doing <laughs> it, but I can't do the candy shit like that. So I, I I substitute that shit with the milkshake so it's like it's less harsh on the teeth. You see why black people be getting sugar diabetes? These motherfuckers will be eating m ms and Oreos and cupcakes and motherfucking uh, milkshakes. Good, man. Nah, for real though. I, I ain't going to lie. That shit, that's... It hit. That for sure be hitting at a certain part of the night, too. Right. <laughs> okay, well, how often do y'all work out? 
Shit, it's an everyday thing. It ain't no days off. What? Even on Sundays, the weekend? So on the Sunday, I might just run. That's it. Shit, for me, Sunday, unless it's football on, I ain't, I'm I'm in the gym. Is that before or after church? Shit. <laughs> I'm just about it, okay? Yeah. yeah. Don't do that to me. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just I bet it, I bet it. <laughs> uh, oh. Awesome, random. Have you ever did like um some kind of muscle enhancer, steroids, y'all into that kind of stuff? Not at all. Uh, that's what is funny. You asked that me and my boy. Uh, Mr. Fear, we got some shit going on right now. We trying to put a spotlight on natural bodybuilding. Okay. So, you feel me? Yeah. I feel like, especially with me being a high school football coach, mm-hmm. it's like these kids that I'm around and shit, they think that I'm on steroids. And mm-hmm. growing up where I'm from, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you can second it. If, as a kid, when I used to see motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck what race you were. I, you were, was yoked up or you had a nice size to steroids never crossed my mind. Mm-hmm. The first thing, maybe the nigga was in a pen or the nigga in jail or something, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> never thought steroids. Now the perception yeah. of all these kids nowadays, the first thing they think is steroids. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And me, like, I'm just trying to give people a new narrative. You know what I'm saying? The steroid game is, is saturating what fitness really is. You know what right, I'm saying? It's right. a mental thing, but people really... It's, it's, it's about an image, about what you can look like, but it's more of what your mental is. Because if you train the mind, the body follows. Ooh, facts. dropping the gems. He, okay. dropped, he dropped it on y'all for sure. <clears throat> and how do you prepare for a uh, fight, Malik? Do you drink strictly water? Uh, are you, you know, cutting off, beating up the yams? Um, how, how do you prepare uh, for fight weekend? <laughs> yeah, to answer that, uh, yeah, I, I, drink, I drink probably a whole lot of water. A whole lot of water, and I drink beet juice a lot. Okay. Mm. Um, I do beet juice and water um, most of the time. I do these little Celsius. I, this is my second time having one of them, but it's a little green energy drink. I drink it probably like once a week or something like that. I don't do energy drinks too often. You know what I'm saying? I'm a natural energetic ass person. But um, for yeah, training for a fight, I don't have sex. I tried it in the amateurs and it didn't work. Uh, no masturbation? The nut none retention. Of that. Okay. Oh, mm. Yeah, none of I that. Don't. Even what like, 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 I would for this fight, no, because this is an important fight for me. But usually, you know, like getting ready for a fight, sometimes, you know, sometimes, I, you know, I give it to her, you know what I'm saying? But I won't bust. I let her bust in. You feel me? I You're just, not a selfish uh, nigga. We love that. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, man, if you, got, if you got a woman, you know what I'm saying? It's like, shit, she got needs too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But, you know, realistically, like, that ain't no good thing though to 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 be around that because you you put up you in the mountains somewhere you know what I'm saying you in camp so sex you you don't want to be doing that to right. yourself because you risking too much especially if you got a big fight on the line you don't want to be risking having sex with no women you know and no mean? alcohol nothing it's kind of like your fasting yeah, that's none good of that. yeah none of that okay you eat healthy I don't eat no fast food I, all my <laughs> all my meals is home cooked meals you know what I'm saying so you meal prep yeah meal what prep. you make uh so yesterday and the day before I ate um. Light greens, rice, corn, and um, filet of soul. Before that, it was salmon, kale, uh, salmon, kale. Okay. Forgot what the fuck was out in there, but I do like nothing like a big ass plate of Brussels sprouts or something. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like I keep it like simple like that. You feel me? You love Brussels sprouts with, with bacon. bacon. Mm-hmm. No, I know bacon. Come on, man. None of that. None of that. Come on, I only, I only read me the report. Y'all ain't pork. I only read me the report. What's going on? People not eating pork. I love I a pig. That Wink so on. much. I love <laughs> me some bacon. I, know, I, did, I, I, did, I, 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 I did too. <laughs> I did too. But shit, I, I had to cut that shit out. Shit, my, I don't know. I just feel like. I ain't as groggy after I eat when I eat. Like, I only eat chicken, yeah. fish, or turkey meat. On the real. So, it's all the protein okay. I eat. All the- <laughs> 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 I'm funny as a motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Next. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, y'all got me. Y'all funny. I mean, shit, I had to change. I had to switch it up. I was on that shit for too much. I was on the, on the, the, the I was leaving the gym. When I first got into the gym, I was leaving the gym, going in and out probably like for a whole Two three months straight eating In and Out burgers, calling that protein. On me, it's like that. I had to. Mm-mm. So now I don't. I don't eat red meat, no pork, no none of that. And bacon was my shit. I, I wake up in the morning and make a make breakfast. I'm eating mm-hmm. making like eight pieces of bacon with two oh, pieces. Give me of, good five. Like, bacon. 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 Yeah. You know what I'm well, saying? So you've it's been like, delivered from bacon. Thank good. I'm good for you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. 
Okay, what were we talking about? Prepare <laughs> how you prepare for fights. But since we're already talking about you about like your fight status, all that stuff, when you're on a ring, you boxing and you, you know, you're getting ready, you're getting in the zone. Do you think of somebody that pissed you off? Do you think about a situation? Right. Do you all the anger? Do you think of the trauma? Fight. trauma? Oh, I did all yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, you know what's crazy? Like, <laughs> like, like, that's crazy. You said that. Like, you think about something to piss you off, or like that ain't what boxing is. You feel me? Like, you don't fight off anger. Mm. You, when you fight off anger, that's gonna make it a long night for you. You feel me? Right. Unless you just a knockout artist and that's just what you want some Mike Tyson shit out here. If you're not on that, then I advise don't fight off of anger. You feel me? We um me personally, I go in there and I have fun. Mm. You feel me? That's how I look at it. Like I look at it like when I'm fighting you, I'm not even looking you dead in your eyes. I'm looking at you right here. And I'm like, mm -hmm. it's like I'm just like, oh, let me see what I can. Oh, I touched you. Oh, I touched you. Oh, bitch, you didn't touch me. You know what I'm saying? Like what's fun about getting hit? I'll be ready to knock a nigga out. What's going on? I don't I don't get hit like that. Oh, okay. I don't get hit like that. Okay. Yeah, if we be honest. I, That's I, what's up. Yeah, That's a flex. Touched. I don't get touched a whole lot. Oh, okay. Even in, in my sparring sessions, only time that you going to touch me a lot is if I sit on the ropes and let you bang on me. If it ain't that, you're not going to touch me like that. Mm. Wow. How much do y'all weigh? <laughs> right now, I'm at uh, 170, 178. <laughs> 78. I'm like 154 right now. Who would win out of y'all two fighting? Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> she, asked, she asked the box, the box or the bodybuilder. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just saying. Wow, no. Is he heavier than him? Right. No, but man, he's a boxer. Don't you have to fight people that are in your uh Right, you can't street fight, right? But look, we but don't. it don't. <laughs> That's it, it. It don't even matter. Yeah, though. Like this, that's just there's a difference like between that. street fight and boxing. For boxing sure, is this technique. nigga knows some shit that's that true. I don't that's know. True. And true. and I will say, I on the streets, I, I ain't I run any any nigga hands. Okay. But a boxer, it's a little different. I'm not saying to throw out. Question. No, for sure. But you know what I'm saying. But this nigga probably got some shit that I. You know what I'm saying. Did you bring the it's gloves? A difference, man. We forgot those two. <laughs> we just fucking yeah. we, What's got that? <laughs> we, got, we got some gloves. <laughs> just You're stuff. retarded as hell, man. So what are some mistakes that you made starting out that you wish you would have avoided? I would have avoided mistakes. I would say like really <coughs> half stepping. Hmm. Like once I stepped in the gym, you know, like it was like I'm I'm gonna take this full fledge. But at the same time, some days it was like, man, fuck this shit. Like, it get, you hear people say, like, doing the right thing, it get boring, right? Like, mm -hmm. that shit do get boring. You feel me? So it'd be like, you miss that, that, that outside, some excitement, some street shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so sometimes it'd be like, when I'm outside, and then that one day you go outside, some shit might happen, and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm not gonna get bailed out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like when you, Especially if you take your craft serious and you're trying to do something with it, don't half step. I say dedicate all your time to that and don't do bullshit outside of that. You feel me? But besides that, I don't want to say I got no regrets. You know, I learn from everything I do. So you feel me? Right. I like that. I ain't got too many regrets. Okay. Shit, so for me, it wasn't when I got into the fitness shit, I was already going through some shit. So mm -hmm. this shit was already a let out for me. So I didn't have no like nothing trying to sidetrack me from what I was trying to do. I knew fitness was going to be what brought me back out mm. of the darkness I was dealing with. So in a sense, like me, I don't have no regrets because like, or I wouldn't switch anything up because what I was already doing, I feel like is why I'm here. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I was just waiting for my journey and everything to align itself in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm happy to where, you know, see where I'm at to this day. Right. Where I've come from, this shit is a. Uh, it's you. You've seen. You've seen the shit. You know what I'm saying some of the shit that I've posted about when I was going through my divorce. So, just to look at myself in the you mirror. Going through a divorce. I didn't see that. You didn't see that. You was married. And yeah. He blessed right yeah. now. He, ah. he blessed right well, now. Y'all missed that one. Moving mm -hmm. right along. They're done now. Was she uh, black? Huh? Nah, she was Hispanic. I knew you didn't take no black. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I just can't. Stop What's going it. on? Stop That's it. wild. Stop it. Hey, love is nah, love. You know love this this love. was me before. The, watch, let me see. Because you was contacting me about coming on the pod so about your story. So we want to hear it. So yeah. let me know. So shit. Uh, 2019, I went through a divorce. I went through a divorce and uh, that shit kind of like fucked me up How mentally. How long were you married for, for? I was married for like five years. I was with her for like 
seven, eight years. How do you? I'm 31, about to be 32. Why you get married so young? Shit, I was I was one of them wow. niggas in high school. I was a football stud, you know what I'm saying? So I went to college, all that. So mm-hmm. when I met her, I felt like I found the one. Oh. I don't got kids, so I kind of lucked up out of that situation in a right. sense, but it still mentally fucked me up. But I tell people all the time, like, I'm grateful and thankful for what I went through because it, it made me who I am today. And I came out of that yeah. shit 10 times stronger mentally, physically, mm-hmm everything that I can think of, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm definitely grateful for that shit. So, five years, married, no kids. What's going on with them soldiers or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nothing going on with them soldiers. Them motherfuckers just know what to do. They, you feel me? We right. on a mission. Right. <laughs> they know, hey. They know the soldier that's carrying them, you feel me? <laughs> Fucking talking about shit. These niggas be lying out here talking about it was pre-cum, baby. <laughs> Bro, every time I got a woman pregnant, I every know time. I nothing to her. I knew I nothing to her. How many girls you not pregnant? There's <laughs> been three in total. And they all they decide to get rid of it? Because you ain't got uh, no kids. Two, uh, one had abortion. And, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, one had an abortion and two had miscarriage. Oh, Lord. Mm. Mm. It just wasn't meant. It sure wasn't. Okay. At the time. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I'm talking about like, if you my bitch, we ain't ain't no condoms. And I ain't slipped up once. When I did, it was like, oh, I think I did it. And every mm-hmm. time it was that. And you feel me? So <laughs> I don't believe in that pre cum shit. These niggas be lying. They yeah. be lying. Yeah, that sound like my cousin. That nigga, he, be I ain't gonna put his business on how many kids you got. But when we're after like the second one, I remember that nigga kept telling me like, yeah, man, the condom broke. I'm like, look, man, I'm not your mama. Like. <laughs> Stop <laughs> lying to me. Like, like, I am not your mama, bro. Like, not the kind of bro. So exactly. What's that is now single, dating, relationship. I'm in a relationship. Yeah, me too. Relationship. Black girls. And I got a white girl. Right God, now. You gotta slow it down. <laughs> Something is not adding. What's up? You don't like black girls? I love black women. So why you keep dating out of race? It's just what suits me right now. That's your preference? Nah, it ain't. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit, yeah, my nigga. They say Malik, you need to cut it out. You know, you guys know that. <laughs> Look at that. They say darker the burial, sweeter the juice. Right. What is this? Well, you date a white girl. Uh-huh. I had a white girl too. Shit. Like, you know I mean, racist. Okay, shit. and that's I mean, fine. Nothing. So I want to know how's that juice? It's good. Okay. So did you see marriage in her? Huh? Marriage. Uh. Would you remarry again? We ain't getting married ever again. The marriage shit ain't gonna never happen again. <laughs> Have you met her family? Does she know that? Does her family know yeah, about she you? Know this shit. Huh? Does I'm her family know yeah. about you? Mm-hmm. Like you're African American? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Making sure. <laughs> I'm just making sure she ain't got her family in Alabama and they don't know about you. You gotta go on, <laughs> nah, on she from home. Chicago. Oh, she from Chi Town. She a little feisty? Yeah, she got a little, you know what I'm saying, to her. Her, her my mom was like, you for me a part of on one of the, the mob and shit like that. You know, some mob peoples. Right. Still so you have a girlfriend, you're in a relationship, right? Yeah. So, How long you been in a relationship? Okay. Because <laughs> uh, you never been... post her. I thought she was single as a motherfucking you know what's crazy? I do. You probably just don't want to No, I see I everything. You don't post her. <laughs> I post her. Uh uh-uh. uh. You so, don't post yours uh-huh. either. Yeah. Well, you know, she. My... You don't post her. Look, <laughs> <laughs> it's all no stuff that shit. <laughs> all right, come on, Rebecca. I wouldn't either. <laughs> Are you funny? No, no, we love. Like, we ain't joking. We ain't saying. So, you know, <laughs> a lot of Jews, and you know I me, mean? you already know what I like. But a lot of Jews, when they have a female, right? Mm-hmm. I just want to know from you guys: when your girl steps outside, do you guys have like a certain dress code? Because I see a lot of brothers that be like, mm-hmm. "Yo, you can't. Uh, what you got on? Like, where you think you going? Like, are you guys are good with your girls leaving, looking sexy if they going out with their girls for a girls' night out? Do your thing. They can show ass, a little bit of titties. You know, are you a secure we ain't, man? We ain't showing no ass. Do your thing. Okay, we ain't doing that. No, but. Booty meat? No, we ain't doing no booty Okay. Meat. Not me. Okay. What can she have on? I mean, you could be sexy. I mean, but it's showing. You checking her at the door? Titties. I mean, I ain't checking her. She, she, she gonna know. She know what okay. the way and what not to. It's the boundaries in the beginning. Yeah, I don't... I ain't no beginner shit. That's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, look, like, we, we going to, to a pool or a beach, so, you know, that, that's cool. You know, you can wear, wear all the sexy shit you want, but you know, when, it, when you stepping out, I feel because sometimes... Mm. A woman might put herself in a situation, right? Because there's some disrespectful ass niggas yeah. out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you got your ass out, some yeah. niggas take that might as just grab it. Oh, I can feel she me on me. She is. Damn. She with the business. You know what I'm saying? She What's want a nigga to grab it. And if you might turn him, okay. she, she might turn him down. A nigga might still grab it. You know, and then that's gonna turn. You know, Malik. And, yeah, you feel okay. me? And I don't. And at the end of the day, it ain't even about like 
Like, nigga, you all on my... It's the disrespect. That is disrespect. Especially if she yeah. turns you down and you still doing little weird shit. It's like, bro, stay in your place, my nigga, and you don't know where that could lead to. You get oh, what I'm shit. saying? So it's like, me, I rather not... I'd rather you not put yourself in that situation. Because it'll and, put us. Yeah, and it's gonna put us in the situation. Yeah, I and like I know which I know where I'm willing to take shit over who I love. If you give me who I fuck with. That's oh. that's girl or family or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, no, we ain't doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. Respect. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. I know you ain't got no problem with Re Re Rebecca leaving the house. <laughs> <laughs> she got no no ass she ass behind her sundress yes. and her, her Jesus sandals. And y'all go, y'all just joking. I'm if, she, uh, if you watching the podcast, what's up, babes? <laughs> 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 you know, we just, we just being ignorant. Um, go ahead. Okay, let's switch it a little bit. Okay. So, your content. All we see is boxing, fighting. All we see is working out. What do y'all really do for fun? Let you go. Shit, that is that shit is fun. Besides that, I really ain't doing shit. To be honest with you, <laughs> if I ain't, really? yeah, if I if I ain't in the gym, I'm at, I'm on the, <laughs> I'm I'm on the football field with the kids. To be honest with you, if I'm not in the gym, I'm on the football field with the kids. Are you coaching? Yeah, high school. Mm -hmm. uh, high Vars school varsity. Yeah. Oh, you coach varsity? Yeah, what schools? Uh, West Ranch up in Santa Clarita. Oh wow, Santa Clarita. Yeah. So you know it's something. no lounges, it's no concerts, it's no um throwing axes, it's no bowling, it's I mean, nothing. Traveling. Shit, right. every once in a while, I mean, me and my boy, we'll go out to uh, shit, we we go out to when we travel, we go to work out. Shit, that's the shit. Like that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, what? <laughs> nah, Get the nah. fuck out my studio. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go travel to go to work I'm, out? Man, right now what I'm got going on, man, I'm really serious about what I'm doing. So Dedicated. until until, okay. until I reach them heights, it ain't shit stopping what I'm I don't give a fuck. Okay, okay. you determined. That shit okay. sound funny to whoever it wanna be. Not like that, but I don't yeah. give a fuck who it's We're not funny. making fun of you. No, I'm not, not, not I don't know who y'all is, but I'm just saying, cause there's other motherfuckers that don't you and me respect. Look what at I your got close up and let them don't respect what I got going on, you know what I'm saying? So for the motherfuckers that know, look, you'll see where this shit gonna take off in a few years. So I'm saying just just pipe down and and and, and enjoy the show. Mm. But on some real shit, that's 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 okay. all I got I'm focused on right now. When you're not coaching, when you're not in the gym lifting weights for three hours, what do you like to do that makes you happy? Shit, chilling with my little dog, my Frenchie. Oh, you okay, got a Frenchie? There we yeah. go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. You like so? Do you like to cook? Do you know how to cook? Oh, I love. I, I meal prep all my shit. So oh. Oh, okay. So your free time, you also oh, like to cook. Shit, I'm a like. Well, I, ain't gonna lie, I, I love Toto. to cook. I, I really. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with shit y'all ask me, like, that ain't some shit I really like to do, though. Like, I just but, do it because I got to eat, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I just picture you waking up, going to the gym, going to football practice, going home, taking a shower, do the same shit the next like, day. I just want to know, do you live a regular life? Right. Like, okay, so you want to know the routine for me? So Absolutely. I wake up, wake up in the morning, figure out what the fuck we about to probably live for the day. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Go downstairs, I eat my food, I call my boys. Wake his ass up because this nigga usually wake up late as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So I let him know I'm about to start getting ready. I go back upstairs, start getting ready. I, I eat, go to the gym. I come back to the house, let my dog out. And that's why I'm going to the school. No, I'm going to the school. And I'm on the field for a few hours and I'm back to the house. I don't, okay. I don't do shit, bro. You just be chilling. This is your like, schedule. I, I, okay, I, respect. I, I mean, shit, to be honest with you, shit, when I was in high school, shit, I didn't I didn't live all that street life. Like, I didn't did all the, the party in the club. That shit don't entice me no more because I wish it didn't entice me when I was that young because I would have had a lot more money in my pocket. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now a nigga yeah. trying to be more smarter and wiser of what I'm got going on. That's why I'm saying I'm focused on what I'm doing right now because... I'm focused, you know what I'm saying? Round of applause to you. You're the type of man that yeah. needs to be in a relationship because you're really not outside <coughs> being a little hoe. That's a yeah, blessing. You ain't doing for real. Shit. We need more men like you. Malik, what you do um for fun? <laughs> Same as my boy. I work out. I mean, I go bowling here and there, shoot some pool, you know, shit like that. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, literally, like, it's working out, you know what I'm saying? And I got a business, you know what I'm saying? So my time is everything revolves around the business and boxing. You Let's talk saying? about your um your part owner of Club Soul and Carson, right? Yeah. Let's talk about that. Uh, so Soul, it's a um people to come in and be like, oh, this is a club. You know what I'm saying? I got a full stock bar, um, lounge uh furniture. It's dope as fuck. You know, projector screens everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So um basically we running out for private events. We don't really do too much public shit. We do a little RB night every once in a while. <laughs> But I don't, um, me personally, I don't think we should um, 
do nothing publicly like that, especially for the young crowd, because we're young motherfuckers coming to bullshit, mm -hmm. and we're trying to keep this shit grown and sexy. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and keep it how it is. It's cool. It's in Carson. It's ducked off. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and you know when you got something that's going like on some LA shit, all the young motherfuckers coming. Then eventually, you know, you get the crowds and they get the mixing, and damn, next thing you know, bam, shit popping off up in there. And I'm not going for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. I'd rather keep it private events only. You know what I'm saying? And when your people's having their parties up there, then you pull up. But you can have anything, baby shower. Um, you know, um, because we got two sides, you know what I'm saying? One 18 and one, one is 21 and over, because it's a full board, and the other side is all ages, you know what I'm saying? So we could do baby showers, um, whatever you want to do, any type of event. I'ma just put it like Birthday, that. Any type of event. Era. You feel me? Or art shows, all that type of mm -hmm. shit. What's the website? Uh, goodomens.com. Okay. I'll put it in the description box. So if yeah, you guys want to yeah, yeah. book that for you guys' future events mm -hmm. in Carson, California, y'all go ahead and do yeah. it. Yeah, don't be yeah. cheap now. For sure. Yeah, don't, don't be cheap. Don't Please ask don't for no discounts cheap. because you're not getting one. That's <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. ain't getting one. Let a black man get his. Malik, yeah, you were also fake ass voice off. <laughs> 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 Talk to you, man. Talk to you, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You worry about that fake ass leather uh, jacket, darling. Fake ass jewelry. Come on. Oh, it sure is from Sheen. Yes, it Where's is. Where's your shirt from? Fashion Nova. Funny as fuck. Okay, anyways, <laughs> Malik, you were involved in a gang. You made it out. Yeah. How did you get the inspiration to say, "I want better for myself"? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'ma say, seeing your mama. You know what I'm saying? Deal with so much pain. Like, literally, like, that's something that kind of like, like, damn, like, because I got multiple brothers, you know what I'm saying? And they in prison right now, you know what I'm saying? Mm. One came home, did did 23 years, and went right back. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But I see, I be, I, I be the one there to get to see the stress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I never really noticed when I was young, because the nigga was doing so much. It was, it was like, I never paid. You know what I'm saying? What I'm doing to hurt no mind. To afterwards, when I start doing the boxing shit. And I'm going to just touch on this, right? So one of my other brothers, he got all day. You feel me? They sentenced him to like 190 years of life or something like that. Mm. You feel me? So right, his daughter was two years old when he went to jail. Mm -hmm. Okay? So um, in order for us to get custody of her, I had to do um like drug abuse classes, parenting. Because, you know, I was I was... Like, I ain't, ain't no shame in my game. I didn't did all that shit. Pills, Coke, Crystal, all that. Mm. But you would never tell. You get what I'm saying? Right. But, you know, at that time, it was a, that was one of them times when it was like, you know, I'm, I'm right. full-fledged on what I'm doing. And um, when that happened, Crystal um, is crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the truth, though. It's the truth. Crystal hey. is crazy. It's the truth, man. Hey, it's the truth. You hear me? Bro. <laughs> That's my bad. I can hold it in. <laughs> what? Why did you what? do that? Why? <laughs> Let what? this nigga hey, tell his yeah, story. Hey, stop. Oh, hey. That's next level. I mean, hey. a little coke here and there, okay. But Crystal, no, nigga? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only and Crystal look. I know of are the Stones. Right, right, yeah. right. And, and, that's and, that's and, the ones he talking about. It, it looks just like that. <laughs> yes, you crush that shit up and... You know oh, what I'm saying? Nerds. You do it like it's coke. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. Yeah. You know I'm, I'm so saying? glad you have changed. You are like reformed. Oh, yeah. You would I never know. Like, no. it's crazy. Look, I look younger now than I used to look when I was younger. Because mm. at this time, I'm 16, 17. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a young nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? And um, basically, what happened is she ended up, her mama went to the pen too, so they both in jail, but mm. she ended up leaving her with some somebody else, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't it. That wasn't the right situation. And then the the uh the people ended up snatching her. So she ended up going to like a little foster type shit. And it was like we wasn't having that. So we got a lawyer, and the lawyer like, look, like in order for you to get custody of her, it was a lot of more shit. I ain't gonna go in all on camera. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? right. But um, you know, the lawyer was like, hey, this is what you're gonna have to do. Cause if you don't do this, she can't come live with y'all. You feel me? So it was like, fuck. Like, I gotta stop what I'm doing. Uh, you know what? So a nigga start doing the classes and bam, boom, like I start boxing, you know? We ain't getting all that either. But it was a situation, you know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers know I could fight. So it was like, look, bro, you need to do this. Like, fuck all that shit. I'll do this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I started um doing the um boxing. So that kind of kept my mind for a minute. It kept my mind off of um, 
the drugs and all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once we got custody of her, it was I was knee deep in already. It's like now I'm, I'm in love with this shit, so I'm not gonna stop, right? And um, <clears throat> basically got custody of her, and it was just like you got all these people in your family, right? In your immediate family, and it's like who doing something though? You get me? Like mm -hmm. everybody on Section Eight, everybody getting food stamps. Hey, it's the same. Like me, person. It's like, bro, I want something better. Like break this ain't it. Curses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta break mm -hmm. them generational yeah. curses. Mm -hmm. Like that shit, not it no more. You know right. what I'm saying? Like two hundred and twenty dollars a month. Right. What the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Like what is that? <laughs> what a two? I thought that. Hey, look. I, I'm thinking it's cool. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck? No, this I'm out. <laughs> okay. you know what I'm, look, I, I'm good. Time. I'm good. <laughs> Once I left that long, I left. I left that where it was at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, there's people right now listening to podcasts that are on drugs right now. They're probably sipping a lot of coke as you're and speaking. Crystal and Crystal. I've, <laughs> I even have a friend. <laughs> I have a friend that's dealing with that. She <laughs> wants rehab. Group. She wants rehab. I have a friend that's, that does drugs. She wants rehab. So I think it's so inspirational for you to come on a podcast yeah. and for you to be deep into it's drugs so like that. It's so vulnerable. Right. And to come out and be where you are now, really taking things serious, eating M&Ms and secrets, no alcohol, just drinking water. Right. Like, that's a blessing no, for real. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. No, I'm serious. So, like, that's a big respect because a lot of men are not going to talk about the things that they've been through like that. No, they won't. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you said that with your chest and you meant it. And it's also, yeah, it's just so great. I love it. Yeah, that. I don't give a fuck because it's like, like I said, it's a, I don't, bro, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Like, no, it's a lot of okay, it's but a like, lot of people out there. here. Look, 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 <laughs> <laughs> look. Y'all heard that? Wherever <laughs> <laughs> you well. So look, it's a lot of people out here, right? Like, I have conversations with individuals that want to change their situations, right? It and it's a lot of niggas in the streets that be like, damn, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. But like mentally, mm -hmm. it's like, well, damn, they gonna look at me this type of way. Like, I, it's like, bro, you give a fuck about what these niggas, what they doing? Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? What they doing? That part. You it takes went a while to, to get pen, that confidence. And look, you went to the yeah. and, and got not niggas watch you get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like, come on, bro, like, is that really the life you want to live? Hmm. I know I don't. My, I, I like I like cash. I like having a nice shit. You know what I'm saying? Go out with my women. You know what I'm saying? I like having a good time. But who wanna be dealing with this shit forever? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but you got to change eventually. Some gonna have to give, right? Or it's gonna be the same shit. I mean, not like that, but look and nip, like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it right there, you 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 did all this good shit shit for your community, right? For and look, it'll turn on right you. there though, <laughs> like right there. And it's like, bro, for me, I nah, that's no, no. <sighs> and, and 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 as far as drug wise, you can't tell nobody what to do. Like, oh, look, you got to leave this alone. Get off of that. You can't do that. They got to be, re they gotta be ready. Yes. They got to be ready. So when I stop doing the drugs, I ain't going to lie. I'm not thinking you could piss dirty for alcohol. So when they ran them, I'm so I, I turn to the bottle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, I'm testing it. And you dirty for alcohol. I'm like, hell, I don't even... Nigga, you dirty for alcohol. So I'm like, damn, all right, tried it again. Bam. Hey, one more time, you're going to get kicked out. You can't get custody, custody of your niece. You feel me? So it's like, damn. You gotta, you gotta want that shit for yourself. Yeah. My, my advice, like to, to to people that's on drugs, like what to, to if you got family members on drugs, all you could do is lead them and tell them, like, look, bro, like I don't want to see you like this, but you know what I'm saying. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but mm -hmm. this let what that I person know you care yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah, let them know you care. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Were you ever on drugs or anything? Shit, going through that divorce, I fucked with coke. I fucked with a little bit of you know what I'm saying. I, yeah, I party. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. Not you smiling, reminiscing. Shit, I, I was, I was lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shit, that, that was a good time being <laughs> lost and shit right. until I found myself. But I definitely was uh doing a lot of traveling, doing a lot of party, party shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But like you said, you you eventually wake yourself up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know I, I it took me a while, but when I when I finally came to shit, this is the 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 product of it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So. It ain't it ain't nothing besides weed that I do now, and it ain't nothing on this world or nobody in this world that can make me do anything or try anything because I'm too happy and satisfied with who I am now. Oh, so I'm saying yeah. I was definitely in a dark place. So mm -hmm. I was weak enough to try the shit that I was doing. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's I felt like that's the only reason a motherfucker even get on drugs because they weak minded at the at the time. That's but true. Mm -hmm. not everybody can overcome 
that certain certain obstacle of getting off of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some people are a little deeper in their thoughts than other people. So I'm saying so. For me, I've always I've always had a confidence in myself. Where I ain't never I ain't never gonna let nothing like keep me down. Right. You know I'm saying I've always been able to overcome anything in my life. So when I came out of this shit, it was like I said, it was the greatest shit I've ever overcame in a sense. That's awesome. <clears throat> Y'all yeah. really let people know that change can happen, and it starts with you. For sure. It do. Like <laughs> <laughs> she said, this starts if with I you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to play off the dribble. Usually we do out of the box where I bring the freaky questions, but um, I forgot them today. Damn. Oh, Ain't nothing like a little freaky question. That, that would have been kind of, you know. Well, we got, I mean, I can ask you some questions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh, okay, yeah. Shoot it. Run it then. Been waiting for this moment, the moment you walk in. What <laughs> <laughs> darling? No, we're gonna do off the dribble. These are like regular oh, questions. Fuck. Okay, so for both of y'all, just answer whatever comes to your head. <clears throat> Biggest age gap that you'll allow for a relationship. Shit, the one I'm in right now. What's the age difference? Uh I think 17 years. She older than me though. You going with a white old <laughs> woman? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I ain't mad at you. Do your we thing. Love, we love Meredith. Do your thing. Does she have, <laughs> does she have good credit? <laughs> does she take care of your bills? Oh my God. We love a sugar mama. She's huh? staying with you, you staying with her. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> you pay that corn out? No, nah, my Or did you drive her whip here? Mm. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know they go to some fancy okay. steakhouse in Beverly Hills. Did she cook for you? <laughs> oh shit! How does she wash her chicken? <laughs> huh? Look, oh no, see, I ain't gonna lie. That's I've, I, I do all the cooking. Be the cook. Like, oh, okay. That's, like I need that black shit. That's definitely me. What's something you guys <laughs> used to be insecure about or self conscious about that you're not anymore? Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. I always been nigga. I, I, yeah, I always but, been nigga with confidence. Yeah, but see, I, I ain't. Before I got braces, I had a fucked up ass smile. Maybe that. Mm. You know what? Maybe. That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> mom. <laughs> Maybe before the braces, hey. boy. Before yeah. them braces, yeah. boy, that shit was, it was ter ter terrible. Yeah. It's <laughs> fucked. You smile like that. I agree with him. <laughs> like, yeah. I agree with him. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Keep that mouth, keep that mouth shut. Mm. The only, only difference is he could close his, right? I can close. My, my teeth been this size since I was in elementary school. So I had a big ass, and the gap was the gap was like crazy. Y'all, hey, y'all see? Hey, look, I'm not playing. If you see my pictures, that nigga, no man, like you feel me? Hey, I was an ugly little black ass. That just called me teeth. You feel me? But the buck teeth. But after a while, I was. But I, I cannot make this shit up. My family reunion it was in Detroit. We went to Detroit, right? And it was a, a picture of me, right, in my elementary school. And they was like, uh, what did they say? They said. Man, look, just smell for the camera. And you know, I'm like trying to get my shit together, right? Like, and literally I burst out crying. Fuck, like, and they like, what's wrong with this movie? I'm like, I don't know how to smell. You feel me? And um, in the middle of me, he snapped the picture. And that was my picture. And they played that shit big as fuck on the screen in our uh, Fanny picnic. I started crying. I'm hot. You feel me? I'm hot. You feel me? I'm mad as hell. Yeah, but yeah, I was I was a little tea, little boy. Oh yeah. shit. Oh man, a little munchies, muncher. Yeah. Okay. Does a woman's body count matter? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, uh. I, if you if you got too many bodies, I'm not, I can't do you, baby. Yeah, but I see, yeah, like. So y'all really asking a woman how many niggas did you? God, by now, that's what I say. It's like, yeah, no, because we don't go into it asking, but you can't. Look, he got right up. You ever start speaking to talk to your family? Yeah. <laughs> You know, no, no, no. It got a little serious. Like, you felt that in your spirit, huh? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, no. It's just like... You can't be out here fucking the whole thing. Yeah, you letting but a you lot of... you with an old woman. You don't know what she done been through. She was married <laughs> for 20 years, love. Did she cheat? Um, From what I know, no. She got three she, kids, so know. she didn't cheat. Oh, three kids. Oh, wow. She was a she housewife. Was, she was put up. <laughs> mm, okay. She was put up. She she's, a, she's a kept woman. So, you feel me? I'm, I'm yeah. actually showing her some new shit. Okay. Oh. That yeah, yeah, that yeah, me, huh? yeah. Okay, you can ask the last one. I'm not asking that. Oh, okay. So recently, I have been talking to this dude or whatever. He be sending me these videos, like you know them videos. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I'm older now, so it don't really turn me on like it would do back in the day. Do y'all keep videos like that in your phone? Hell no. 
Well, like, like playing, nigga, playing with himself? Like, yeah, like, he was what? going crazy, and I'm just like, oh. I'm for what? But I fuck with young niggas, though, so maybe that's why. But I'm like 32, so it wasn't really like, oh, but I was just like, oh. No, what you're supposed to do is when, when, when y'all fucking, record that. And okay, he could so send he could send that when he wants right. you to think about something. You give him that's mm -hmm. my you know we send you a little video. Look at this baby while you were working something. Ooh, Ooh. You get me yeah, like, get you a little twinkle before you get home you know, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, but yeah, no, nah, I don't. Mm -mm. That's some young shit. That. Okay. Sure. Yeah, y'all in the BBWs? <laughs> I'm into whatever. Yeah, I like ass. If it, I like ass. <laughs> I like ass. I like women. Yeah, my woman, she, she If I was ass. single, I would you definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Do you like ass? Like your I, girl, woman's ass? I love <laughs> ass. You love ass? Y'all eat ass? Bad ass. We oh. need more men well, like you. Like you eat ass? Look. Do I? Boy. Do I? Do I? He said, where the girl oh, she's at? really asking. excited about it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like that's, I feel like, I mean. Look, if you, you don't know, do it, somebody look, look, will. You know, eating ass is like becoming a popular thing now. Oh, man. Like. Oh, and I've been doing uh, this shit since motherfucking what? sixth grade. You hear yeah. me? Like this, I, I'm an ass man. You know? Oh, okay. Just being honest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an ass say. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite positions? Uh, I like doggy. Or uh, oh, I can see you just wow. Yeah. Or or, or, <laughs> or you know you know when mm. you you got doggy right, but then you like the man that nigga. I just lay back right. Yeah, and, and she, then she just got yeah, the legs yeah, over yeah, underneath yeah, right yeah, there and just yeah. riding. And I can just yeah, you know yeah. that's that's the one I like. Mm. Is Katie here to demonstrate? Katie, <laughs> where, where you Katie. at? <laughs> wow, Malik, what's your favorite position? Yeah, I like I like um, I like everything, but I I like that ass though. I want to see that ass. <laughs> you uh, stuck on you that like ass, ass, boy. Fuck the girls in her ass too, or just eat it. Uh, I I feel like a, a a lot of girls don't 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 do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like a it's, it, <coughs> that's an uncomfortable thing for a lot of a lot of these little females. You know well, what I'm saying? They, so they just don't know how to properly just, do it. If you just send her my way, they're fucking dick in their ass. ass. That's ridiculous. They go to oh, it hurts. It hurts. You know, it hurts. So no, it's cool. You know, That's I just hit it from the back and play with <laughs> and, put, and play with the asshole. Or something, that. You know, you know. A little finger, but not no whole penis. That's sick. <laughs> 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 okay, so what's next for y'all? What's going on? Uh, you got a fight coming up? Let people know. Can we pull up? Can we get a ticket? Hell yeah, y'all can pull up, man. I'm fighting for um my first um title fight. Um, it's for uh WBF uh, World Boxing Federation um okay. uh fight um on on March 23rd. It's gonna be at St. Bosco High School. We went out to school. Um, yeah, it's gonna be lit, man. It's my um what. 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is my 16th or 17th fight. Don't I'll be um I got one draw, one loss. I'm 14 and no. So what happened on that loss? So um, you know, I'm gonna take accountability. <clears throat> oh you okay. know. I could blame the referee. I could blame, you know, I could say a lot of shit, but I'm not gonna <coughs> blame him. You know what I'm saying? Scorecards, I won eight round in that fight. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I boxed him. And um he caught me. He beat me to a punch. I went for an upper. He went for an overhand. And he caught me with that. It kind of stunned me. So yeah. when it stunned me, he hit me again. But when he hit me again, that kind of like, ah, I snapped out of that shit and I jumped on the ropes. And you know what you don't supposed to do is jump on the ropes. Oh. You get me? Because when you jump on the ropes, that's a fighter's, like I just told y'all earlier, like, if I get on the ropes, that's when you, a nigga going, mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. So, you know, he got to doing that, and I, uh, I'm slipping and shit, and he hit me, and but then he missed, and then he way over there, and I'm looking at him like, come on, bitch, do it again. And, you know, he came back, ah, uh, and the referee just, hey, that's it. You know, we're two undefeated fighters, though. You get me? So I feel like, you know, for two undefeated motherfuckers, you don't stop no fight like that. Mm -hmm. You supposed to let us fight. Let that nigga drop me or something. Let, know for sure that I'm fucked up, because when you wave your hand, you see how I, hey, what the fuck you doing? You know what I'm saying? Look you dead in your eyes. And, and the referee comes in your dressing room and tell you, if you can't comprehend what I'm saying, if you can't look me in my eyes and give me eye contact, I'm stopping the fight. So that was my first reaction. What you doing? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What you, what you stopping the fight for? And he couldn't even look me in my <laughs> eyes. So I was like, you know, but at the end of the day, it's my fault because I shouldn't have gotten that rope. You get me? Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. But me, I'm we're going to fight again. We're supposed to fight. I'm going to do this fight and possibly two more dudes in the city that I want to fight okay. and then fight him. You know, and it's going to be, that's going to be a big fight. People want to see that. Yeah, I want to uh, see it. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely People try to be there. That. Yeah. No, be at this one. Cause this history, 
this belt I'm fighting for, James Tony won this belt, Roy Jones Jr. won this belt, um, and a few other names that. How much are the tickets? Um, they range from like 75 to like 250, 300 or something. Mm, you gonna get the ticket, Jacob, and go? Let's go. Okay. Yeah, just pull up on me, hit me. When we leave. Your girl gonna be there? Yeah, she gonna be there. Okay. Of course, she gonna rap first row. Hey, that's daddy, daddy. You know, she gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> What's know? next for you? <laughs> what can we look forward to? Uh, shit, June 22nd, uh, me and my boy uh, doing our first bodybuilding show. Uh, Riverside, so for Man, me, both y'all got great shit coming up. Yeah, so that that'll be the first time I actually get on stage and uh, do all that shit, that Arnold Schwarzenegger. All shit. that Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga, I be practicing that shit when I be in the gym. They be like, "What the fuck you doing, Malik?" You know what I'm saying? When I be putting my little shit, I be yeah. You know what, you what I'm saying? saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta show your shit off a little bit, but me. now me and my boy, we definitely uh, we going to compete. We thought it was a natural bodybuilding competition, but to our surprise, we going against people that's gonna be on shit, but. He was a little nervous. I thought that nigga, I said, that's even better for us. I Fuck said, because if we get on that stage and, and do what I plan on doing, nigga, it's going to put us at a higher level than I even thought. You know what I'm saying? So I just plan on trying to really take over this bodybuilding shit from a different angle. You know what I'm saying? So I want to point something out with, with him right out real quick. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I never met my boy before, but he got the right mindset for what he's doing. You feel me? Like, you, you, you speaking a lot of your shit into existence. And I fuck with that, you feel me? Because I, I I be on some law of attraction shit. Everything I did, everything I'm doing, I say I'm gonna do it before I do it. Real shit. You get me, and I fuck with that. You feel me? Like yeah. we black men, we need that. And 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 you know, not even to keep keep it going, but like when these gentlemen walk past me, we was outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my car doing my thing with my boy. They walk past us, and you know. Most of the niggas in LA, you from they walk past, they get these. Yeah, yeah. I, I was re I was ready to be on my toes when these <laughs> niggas walk by, just because I, I know what area we in. In a sense, when you see, you know what I'm saying, but them niggas walk by. What's up, champ? How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? And that type of shit, like I, I feed off that energy. That shit's yeah. dope. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't. That's not. A, we don't get that enough. Mm -hmm. There's too many don't. black men in this world where you feel like niggas is too too much in competition, bro. Competition is at the bottom. Come on. <laughs> Collaboration is at the Elaborate. top. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely got respect for you, yeah, my nigga. Sure. No shit. Yeah, we sure. need more black men like wow, that. Monty, Tavion, Jacquees, to do better. That was amazing. That's yeah. uh, We never had, we had a couple of men on, like on a podcast together, but we never had them embrace each other. Like, you know, pour yeah. back into each other like the way that you guys did. Yeah, man, you, we needed that. Man, we need to see that type more, of shit. More like yeah. that. And that's, that's what the younger crowd need to see because I f we had a fucked up, yeah. fucked up generation. But this generation up under us is oh, it's told ass. these right. niggas. Is it's different. just like shit. If if we don't if we don't look out for each other, who gonna do it? Yeah, shit. Because oh, we don't even right half, half yeah. our own coach don't even look out for us. You think the white motherfuckers gonna do it? Hmm. You, know me. you think the Mexicans gonna do it? Right. So come on, like if we just don't do it, it like this, we gotta we gotta do the same thing these motherfuckers been doing for years, keeping it full circle. Yeah, for real, right. fuck. Come on, we need to be putting we, our we own. We kill off each on. other too much, man. Like, I ain't trying to get off subject, but my neighbor, you feel me? Like, this just happened. What January to like mid January, and I caught the flu doing that shit. I'm fresh out of this. I already feel sick. I had to cancel my. I had a fight in February. I had to cancel that fight mm. due to this situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm in. Get out the shower, nigga. Lay down. Bum, 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 I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Grab my shit. Hey, who up in y'all here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I go out there, it's my neighbor. He got their legs stretched out. And it's like, bro, what the fuck happened to you? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, like, wouldn't nobody even come outside to help my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Wow. And stayed out there and held him, like, like to the put pressure on his wounds. He was hit so many times. And I'm I'm just focused on the shit that's up here. Yeah. You get me? Like, bro, I'm a, bring me some towels. You feel me? Bring me some towels. But y'all go back in the house, though, because I don't know what the situation is, but I'm going to help this motherfucker. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. I know him. I'm not just going to leave him out here to bleed out. I don't care what the situation is. I'm going to try what I can to help you mm -hmm. to the paramedics and get here. And that's, really? that's, yeah. I Real feel like nigga. that's fucked up. Because mm -hmm. if it was me and that, you know what I'm saying? I like, to do it for yeah, me. help me, my nigga. Like, don't look at me and just let me sit here and die. You get what I'm saying? Because it's that's cold a, as hell. That's a <laughs> fucked up ass Bro, feeling, that's a fucked up you, feeling. You, you need to, that's a fucked up You need deliverance, darling. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm taking to the king on Sunday. <laughs> okay. You need more stand up men, man. We do. Yeah, we do. Um, can we see that body? Hell, you y'all can see the body, man. What's happening? <laughs> look, look at him. He says, you know, this ladies, mm. uh, enjoy. Okay. Your Roxy try to act like she ain't Nikki. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> This part is for the ladies. I would look uh, Amber. Uh, Fuck it, you know. Soy. 
Ladies, Jesus. I just joking. My hair looking motherfucking mess. I had an afro before I came. Kanisha, be sure fucking... you get a close up on these men. But, um, no. I'm going to take my shirt off next. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's that's the bodybuilding side. And this is the boxing side. You know what I'm saying? This this full fledged right here, shape. This fighting shape right here. You hear me? This 31. Baskin Robbins, 31 flavors. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? This fighting shape. Shit. I'm ready for whatever. So me? am I. Shit. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh, so ah, yes, Lord. <laughs> well, this is been another amazing episode this, this of the Just Years Us. of Work, man. You hear me? Years just Us podcast. Right yeah, yeah. I'm one of your hosts, <laughs> Jacob Willis. And it's your girl, just living, baby. <laughs> and we may or may not see you next week. <laughs> Ciao for now, darling. <laughs>